Hey, Star Wars geeks, Eamon here, and with me as always, the old man. And we're sitting down and ready to watch episode four of season three of The Mandalorian. All right, so uh, last chapter, well, we took a departure from the action for a little bit, for some reason, where uh, most of the episode followed Dr. Pershing, I believe, as he tries to reintegrate back into society after the fall of the Empire. I mean, I guess that part of the story needed to be told. I guess. But they could have just sent me an email. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that could have been summed up a lot faster. All right. So, uh, other stuff that happened, uh, what little stuff happened, was uh, Bogotan's palace uh, castle was destroyed. And she saw a, uh, a mythosaur, which I think has her questioning things. Well, and I mean, that's got to be like... <laughs> For a Mandalorian, that's got to be tremendously cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, Din Djarin was redeemed in the eyes of his uh, creed. And also, they welcome Bo-Katan into the creed because uh, she also bathed in the living waters. Now, this, this is the way. Yeah. But why she didn't take off her helmet between you know getting out of the waters and you know meeting back up with... Uh, Mando's creed, I don't know, because that wouldn't have meant anything to her. But it's good that she didn't. I guess. All right, so before we get started today, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, give us a thumbs up, and if you like, leave us a comment. Help us reach 1,000 subscribers in 2023. Speaking of comments... Well, uh, we had one comment, and it was pretty man. easy to sum up. Uh, Mark from Kentucky just said, oh, I didn't know we had new episodes. I need to get caught up. Yes, you do. Yeah. And the, that rest, the rest of y'all, slacking. Mm -hmm. Slacking. Yep. We're used to having five, six different worthy comments on this channel. So, come on. Yeah, we want, we want to hear from you guys. You want to hear your, your uh, fan theories. You want to hear your, your commentary. You know, anything you have to tell us that's interesting, let us know. All right. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd go up to the camera and tap on it and go, Hello? No, don't, don't Is anybody that. there? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I'm too yeah. lazy. All right. So hopefully the action you know, picks up in this episode. Man, I hope so. I mean, this is one of my favorite shows up until the last episode. Yeah, that was, that was kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. So uh, with that being said, uh, I, I don't have anything else. Do you have anything else? I absolutely have something else. Oh, uh, you have that, that thing you say? I have this thing that I say. Y'all want to... Yep. E money. Push the damn button. Okay. Okay, so remember last week I was asking, you know, what they do all day? Train. I guess this is what they do all day. Uh, do we know the name of this planet? No, I don't think they've said so far. Because I don't want to live there. Mm. A lot of these Mandalorians, I mean, they just look like Boba Fett with a different color scheme. Got a guy with a Mandalorian helmet. Well, no wonder the creature was upset. You keep shooting stuff into his lake. And you're really going to let Grogu sit that close to the shore. All right. He is too small. I'm his ward. Proceed. Well, he's not going to get much bigger. Yeah, I mean, full grown, he's Weapon. not much bigger than that. Decide. Don't he use the force. Why not? Fire the darts in any order. I mean, for, for this contest, I don't think that's supposed to be the point. One round, highest score wins. Three points. Winner. How's that fair? What? I mean, the kid fired his third dart, so he got no more darts. I mean, one doesn't speak unless one knows. It seems like you should. Yeah, the judge pause stopped. Between. Yeah. Not that it would have mattered. The kid's out of darts. All right. Well. I mean, did they only give him three darts? Yep. Oh, okay. I mean, Grogu could have just stood there and fired the... the... Oh. oh! I don't want to live on this planet! Like, why Why do they have their camp here? He's, he's gone. Barely a snack. Well, at this point... Fire! Things moving! I thought these jetpacks were for short range. Pretty like, sure they are. Like the, the guys in um, science fiction show we watched. I don't know. You but watched it. You would appear to be right. 
Chris Richards show. It's a big video game. Guy wears a helmet all the time. Chief. It always gets away. Oh, Master Halo? Chief. Yeah. Can I get Halo? Their jetpacks aren't for real long range either. I don't remember jetpacks. Why wouldn't it be dead already? Exactly. I mean, usually when a when a bird of prey or animal, you know, grabs prey like that, kills it. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't keep it around. It's not a spider. We must avoid explosives and blasters. You are too young to join them. You're right. Tell Grogu. And Grogu's like, you wish to become a man me and my dad man. used to do this all the time. Much work to attend to. Did it all the time before you guys showed up. He needs his little buggy thing. He's <laughs> too slow. I don't know. For him. He's having flashbacks. Oh, this is not a good part of his life to have flashbacks. No. How come sometimes stormtroopers can hit what they shoot at? Well, these are clone troopers. And given that they were the good guys for most of their run, they were exceptionally better marksmen than stormtroopers. Why the Empire deemed to replace them, I have no idea. Money. Mm. Everything's going to be all right, kid. Hmm. Don't know this guy. No. I was hoping it'd be somebody we know. Breaking out the actor. You know. You couldn't use him upstairs. Hmm. He ain't no paddle on. Go, go, go. The engine seems to have recovered. There you go. <laughs> Don't know why you did do that five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And what yeah, happened what, to the bad guy? Yeah, wasn't could there have been an explosion there? Well, maybe there was, but you still see. Yeah. Looks like a, I think that's a Naboo starship. Or cruiser ship, I should say. Power in back. Can we do it again? They're right behind me. What about the others? There are no others. Take the ship. Steel's and ready to go. Come on. Well, you guys get on the ship too. So, is he the only family that survived? Uh, well, I mean, youngling is what the Jedi Temple called him, but, uh, no. Yeah. I mean, there's, you know, there's dark, are you you're talking younglings or anybody? Padawan, Jedi. Young. Youngling, maybe. Because a bunch of people just died trying to, to save him. Right. And then he gets to Luke and he doesn't complete his Jedi training. Yeah. That seemed like a slap in the face to everybody who died. Come on, Grogu. Okay. It's the symbol of his clan. Him and Mando. I don't know what kind of piece of armor is it. It's too small to be a breastplate. No. It's not on his head, so it's not a helmet. It's okay. Necklace? I don't. Giant necklace? Yeah, I don't feel like he can keep it there. He's definitely not going to grow into it. He's not going to get much bigger than he is now. Yeah, it might grow into it so that it's not like, you know, bigger than his chest. It's still going to be pretty big. Yeah. I count seven. I hope this isn't a situation where that matters. Usually when we count people, it's because they're going to start getting killed. Mm -hmm. I mean, does, does Grogu continue with some kind of training with the Mandalorian? Does that count for anything? It's better than nothing. The target is on so the he target. could become the next 
Jedi Mandalorian. Oh, you're gonna make care. What another night go by? The kid ain't got a chance. I mean, he should be dead by now. Oh yeah, he should already be dead, and you're gonna give it another night. You eat when other people are around. Good question. So, when you get your food, you go off to find a place where you can take off your helmet. Okay. I, I feel like that's a bit of fan service because people have got to be have got to be asking Favreau that. You are the leader of the war party. I got it. You have the honor of staying by the fire. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. this is the way I got a question about the helmet thing. Yeah. So we we see that they have children. Uh huh. I assume that's their children, not just lost ones. I mean, they they could be foundlings like Grogu. I don't know. Well, if. Mandalorians reproduce. Mm -hmm. That means they got to do the deed. I assume. You saying they do the deed with helmets on? Either they the they go it they do it mostly clothed or oh, you know, they blindfold themselves. Sure oh, maybe. You will kill the foundling if attacked. I kind of wanted to be a Mandalorian for others. Not now. Our jetpacks alone. Look at this beast. What does that thing weigh? Fifty thousand pounds? Got a freaking Gatling gun on your back. Try and make a. Try to do some rock climbing. No. Nope. He's a big boy, but whew. I mean, I'd be concerned about somebody that big being able to make the climb anyway. All right, who's who here? Uh. Is that our boy? No, Richard. That's Mando. How can you tell? Silver uh, armor. Mm -hmm. That's Bo. Her on spot. She's easy. That's so Basla. I think his name is. To me, he's a tank. Mm -hmm. Well, he'll be. He's he's gonna be semi important if he's not already. Why is that? Well, I mean, we've seen him. You know, throughout the show, so I think he's a uh, fairly important supporting character. He's the only one to carry that thing. Yeah. Like whatever importance you put on the armorer, he's like slightly below her. As Bisla. He's my son. Oops. <laughs> well, that explains a little bit. Yeah. Ragnar. Ragnar. Oh, whoops. Kill it! Get your gun! Get your gun! Eat that toaster up! Let it fly! Yeah. Now! Shoot! Oh. Why was he in its mouth? I think he was in its stomach. Okay, again. Because that's the way birds well, do. Why? Okay. Yeah, you need to tangle its wings. Come on, come on, come on. You got it. Leave. Yeah, it's all good. That was some Jurassic World shit right there. Absolutely. And again, why are we hanging out by this lake? I mean, there's got to be some place else you can hang out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is the way. This is the way. I think I'd be plotting a new way. Some you know, of the things they do just... Mm. You can just say you're welcome. You don't have to make that your blanket response to everything. Seems to be, though. And we have brought you three more families in need of care. Huh? No. no. Wait, 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 wait. What? Why? I guess you're gonna make them steeds. How big is your ship? Because it's a hell of a lot bigger than I thought it was. I would like that. I thought she might join uh, uh, Mando's clan. Become a clan of three. Alright, so despite it being a 
exceptionally short episode. That was like 30 minutes. They uh, definitely made up for the lack of action oh, yeah. in, in last episode. That was fun. Yeah. It was the stuff in that one. Had, uh, had a nice little uh, flashback action sequence, which was cool, and uh, showed them fighting the... Remember I said, uh, like, in episode two, like, it's all about the beasties this, uh, this season? Like, they're fighting the beastie of the week. But, again, I call into question, why are we next to this lake? Nah, this doesn't seem to be a smart move. There's, I mean, there's got to be better places to, uh, you know, help have your little, you know, Mandalorian society. So, uh, what did you guys think of this episode? I mean, I guess, beside, aside from uh, uh, getting a little bit more on Grogu's background, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, development here. You know, uh, you know, Bo-Katan is still wrestling with her beliefs, I guess. And, uh, I don't know. I think there was some development. I mean, you got to see Grogu shoot some kid with darts. Yeah. So, so uh I mean, I guess, I guess it's good that Grogu is getting some kind of training, but, you know, again, like, he could, like, everyone around him could live out their lives and get old and die before we even notice uh, him aged any, you know, great difference, so. Could be. Yeah. All right, so uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Uh, what do you think is gonna, wh where do you think this, uh, this season is leading towards? Because I'm a little lost on that. Well, for one... Mando showed up on the Boba Fett show. Yeah. So I think it's only fair. I mean, that's where Boba Fett showed up in the first place, but okay. Hey. Time to, you know, rotate it. Yeah. Uh, you know, give us your uh, theories and uh, who you're hoping uh, shows up in uh, the next couple episodes. All right. So let us know that. And also, don't forget to subscribe. We're always uh, looking for new subscribers and we're trying to reach 1,000. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. And as is, seems to be the answer to just about everything, this, this is, is the, the way. way.